SDCC um, was a couple weekends ago, um, so just now I will be um, predicting on what could be the future of the MCU and what could be in Phase 6. But first, there are two projects that I think Marvel is hiding from us that could be in Phase 5, so we'll do those ones first. So, um, there was a clip released a couple days ago of a fan asking um, the director of Moon Knight if there was going to be a season 2, and then the director sort of laughed, and then the camera was handed to Oscar Isaac, who obviously plays Moon Knight, and then he said, why else are we in Cairo? So that obviously means the show is in pre-production pre coming soon, or um, they're just scouting locations, but I do think it could be late 2023. Um, but another project that could come out in Phase 5 is Deadpool 3 is another movie that I think, um, because the director and like have been working on the scripts, the script for a couple of years now, um, I think it could probably come into Phase 5, they're just going to announce it at D23, um, yeah, so Deadpool 3, I have nothing more to say because I don't like the character because it's all red movies, I need ID to on this timeline, I promise the face its photos will be better. I am predicting Moon Knight will come out just after the Marvels and Deadpool 3 to come out very early 2024. Like, just after Iron Heart, maybe. Yeah, after Agatha House of Harkness. Um, so, yeah, now phase 6. I don't think the show is cancelled, a lot of people do, but this um, Armor Wars was announced. Um, in 2020, I think, and then it is going to star Don Cheadle as War Machine, and uh, I think the main villain could be um, Justin Hammer as the Detroit Steel, um, but I put it here on the timeline. It could be that fall 2024 option right before the release of the Fantastic Four. Wonder Man is another project. Um, I don't think this, like, I think it will release probably just after Fantastic Four, and the director of this is also the director of Secret of Kang Dynasty, and the same director that did Shang Chi. Um, but I'll talk a bit more about that later when we get to Shang Chi Two. Yes, a spoiler. Um, but I think Wonder Man could be releasing in late 2024, right here on the timeline. And in fall of the 2020. A Nova project has been rumored for years, um, with Richard Ryder and like a surviving member of the Nova Corps that because they were decimated in Avengers Infinity War when Thanos got the Power Stone. Um, but I think most people think this could be a movie, but I honestly think Nova could be just a show and that would be pretty cool to release here around um, the winter of 2024. Spider-Man 4 is probably going to come out in Phase 6, and I think uh, Crimes of Kingpin, a street-level movie with Spidey and Daredevil fighting Kingpin, would be amazing to release in Phase 6. Um, and because Marvel doesn't usually announce Sony movies at D23, I think it is a hidden spot in that big space between um, the May of Kang Dynasty and summer of 2024, we could see uh, Spider-Man Crimes of the Kingpin. Eternals 2 was confirmed by the actor of Cliff the Troll, and um, it should come before Secret Wars, so I think it could be end of 2024, yes that would mean if I'm right, five-ish movies in 2024, um, but they will probably push back Secret Wars, which will push back the other projects a little bit. Yeah, that winter of 2024 spot down there. We um, will have uh, a season two of Moon Knight by this point, hopefully, and um, Blade would be in the, the year prior, two years, hmm? Hmm? Um, a year or two prior to this, um, but I think a Midnight Suns TV show could be a really cool, like, just darkish monster, yeah. 
This will take the first spot of 2025, being the Spring 2025 project. Lol. I do really think she's gone. I think they could revive Wonder Maximal, the Slash the Scarlet Witch, in Wonder Man, and then she could get her own show where she just sort of redeems herself, and um, we could also get introduced to the mutants in the show, like Magneto, um, and she finds her heritage. I think this could be an amazing show, and definitely should happen in Phase 6. This project could be the other spring 2025 um, one, so we only have the two summers left in between the two Avengers movies, and they will both be pretty important ones. Trade leaks have um, pretty much confirmed the Shang-Chi sequel to be titled Shang-Chi The Reckoning of Time, so this could take place, um, maybe Shang-Chi and Katie were doing something during the events of Kang Dynasty, and then they come back to see time all just wrecked, and then, like, yeah. But it, this could just be a really cool movie. Um, maybe not even about Kang at all, maybe it's just a time travel movie. I don't know. So, um, remember, this might have a different director if it comes out in Phase 6, um, to the first Shang-Chi movie, um, because it'll be coming out right after Kang Dynasty, and one man can't direct a show in the end of 2024, and two movies in the middle of 2025. That's quite impossible. I have always thought of a show like this. Um, they failed, um, Fox failed with X-Men Origins Wolverine, but what if it was just a show titled X-Men Origins, just with each episode focusing on an individual mutant, and then, like, Maybe at the end, they form the X-Men. Like, I think this is a really good idea for a show, and to take place right before Secret War. So this is what my face sits timeline looks like, and I will... Phase 7. So there's one thing Quebec, like, trade leagues have done, like, a Nomad project, and stuff like that. I think Phase 7, little prediction here, could be called the Timeless Saga. But um, we're getting a bit too ahead of ourselves here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and maybe you have a similar theory to mine. I'd love to see like a Scarlet Witch show. I think that would be amazing. Shang-Chi 2, if it was all about time travel. And like the Midnight Suns. Yeah. Bye.